because i always used to say like luck favors the prepared but i'm also realizing that it's not luck it's anointing because if i say luck then i'm, I'm saying it in a form of it being a coincidence hi guys welcome back to my channel welcome to another video so just want to get straight into today's video without actually blabbing too much above all i really want to start off with saying that thank you guys so much like for actually taking the time so if you took the time to actually watch your girls content each and every single wednesday when i had uploaded a video i just want to say thank you from the bottom of my heart thanks i know that 2022 is coming to an end and i just really want to wish you guys like a happy festive season just be safe enjoy the time with your family or whoever you're going to be spending your festive season with i think i'm just really going to title this video like things that i have learned this year because i think that this year on its own has been like a mad yeah crazy i feel like this is the first time in my life that i've went through seasons in such a short period of time even now that it's december i am in disbelief that we are here i'm really in disbelief about like how this year turned out for me and let's just get into the video like quickly without wasting any time starting this year off i obviously had new year's resolutions i'm not really a person to set like materialistic stuff as like my newest resolution to be like this year i want to get a new car or stuff like that because i think i'm a person who always believes that that's for god to handle but on the other end i always set my news resolutions based off what i can handle and i think my news resolution just involved more of my internal self I remember beginning of this year i spoke about how i wanted to build a relationship with god and this is the one where i want to speak about because this one caught me off god this one caught me off god like i i never saw this one coming never never ever I remember last year uh september so 2021 in september i had a conversation with one of my friends or oh, earlier on a saturday i had this conversation with one of my friends and i told i tell her that you know what like i just have this feeling in me like this urge that's something in me that's like continuously scratching me because i remember that time wasn't the first time that i had told her about what i'm about to say right now it wasn't the first time i think i had told her prior like it was just something that i kept repeating basically but i think in september it was just the last the final say of you know what this is it but i remember having this conversation with her on a saturday and i told her that you know what like i have this urge in me and um i deeply feel that i need to spend 2022 by myself I remember telling her that and I just really felt like I, I said to her that the year 2022 would be like me building on the fundamentals of how my life going forward from 2023 going forward would depend on how 2022 turns out. So I remember telling her that and I said I need to spend 2022 by myself because I need to focus. Little did I know what was coming my way. So now that I've actually given you guys the quick reflection that we went through, I really want to get into things that I have learned this year, trust the process, and I really want to say that there is so much beauty in the process. I say this because I really want to say there's no shortcuts when it comes to excellence. That's one thing that I want to mention, and I really feel like good things worth having take time. You know, like everything is a fight, guys. Whatever it is that you want in this life, you have to fight for it. It's it's a fact it's a known fact i'm not even gonna tell you guys when you decide to accept jesus as your lord and savior things are gonna be easy that's a lie <laughs> that's a lie that's a misconception that i think a lot of people have you know we're all exhausted but at the end of the day i really don't want to use that as my way of slowing down like let me rather slow down because i'm actually tired and i want to take a break and i want to recoup and i'll actually get back into everything but i don't want to use this excuse to quit but anyways, as for example, you have been wanting a car and you've been using public transport and taxis. Those who know, know. Yo, guys, yes, yes. There's, as you're probably using public transport, right, to get to where you're trying to go, be at school, be at work, wherever it is that you're going. And public transport is basically your main form of transportation. And I, when you, especially, yo, especially those days when it's raining and you need to be going to Brie Taxi Rank and not and wander us with a broken umbrella bruh it's like when it rains things get worse and you, you're just walking there with your umbrella and you're just like even when it's not broken but it's just like bruh 
the struggle the struggle yo when you're in that process of actually using this public transport as your main form of transportation and you see people in their cars and you're just like one day this is gonna be me you know like one day one day i don't know which day but one day that day is coming when you have the car it's like yo i've been wanting this for so long but i feel like what i'm trying to say is when you have the car all you could remember is those days where you were in a taxi and those rainy days where your umbrella broke like when you reach your goal all you could ever remember is the process like remember when we started when and we never had or oh, like sometimes when you want goals you just want things to just happen it's like you have this desire in your heart and you're just like i can't wait for it to happen but chances are when it also happens you just gonna always look forward to what's next you know like so i think for me that's where i just pretty much saw that as people we just like we're on fast and the furious like we just have this mode of acceleration more like we want to achieve our goals instantly like there's just speed not only does it really make you realize like your progress like i started from here now i'm here and this happened i overcame that and stuff like that but i think it just also makes you see man the greatness that god has done i'm really going to speak about god a lot i'm realizing that god is not a god of speed you know god is not a god of acceleration he's a god of process like one thing about god is really gonna take time and it just pretty much reminds me about this bible verse I think it's in Jeremiah. So he had his hands on the wheel for a very long time and he was just molding the clay and then the clay was pretty much and the clay part actually was marred and then he discarded it because it wasn't like of um what he wanted it to be. And then he just started all over and just you know made it into the way that he actually wanted to. And I feel like that whole verse just reminded me about like how god works with us as well like god's hands are very much current god knows what it is that you need and he knows the timing in which he will give it to you you know but it's just like before you get there you just really need to be molded and shaped and in order for you to just really receive it and for you to be much more grateful about it because i feel like guys you handle things so much better when you've worked for them the same thing happens that when god really gives you something at the right time you're able to value it so much more because you know how long you've been waiting for this and all that has happened in the process speaking of that another thing that came to my realization is that like i'm also realizing that when you step into your purpose or when alignment occurs right in your life once you start stepping into anointing everyone and maybe like for uncle uncle waffles for example like her story you see once you start stepping into like your purpose right that moment where god says this is it let it be you know like it's that i feel like for a lot of people they'd always be like it, it comes off as a shock you know like things happen overnight right to be honest guys nothing happens overnight you know and i feel like for a lot of people it does seem like it happened overnight but it's just like people just that people just don't see you pushing and pressing on all those sacrifices that you actually made and people don't see that people just don't see the production phase like a lot of people just see other people doing something i can i want to do that as well but i'm also establishing that men do something because you want to do it and do not do it because of how it turned out for someone else you know because things are different for all of us and we're all anointed differently do something because it is your desire like what you want to do you know don't start doing things because you see someone doing it and you're expecting the same outcome for you because chances are what if the same thing doesn't happen to you the same way it happened to them what then what then you call it quits try something else you know like i just really feel like time is so precious guys like everything can be wasted and everything can be replaced but time you can't so a person's anointing cannot be replicated and what's for you is for you because i always used to say like luck favors the prepared but i'm also realizing that it's not luck it's anointing because if i say luck then i'm, I'm saying it in a form of it being a coincidence and i'm just really realizing that there's no such thing as a coincidence with god when you are in a process of actually executing your vision and your desire i remember making a tweet about this but the tweet just took a massive u-turn that it ended up not being what i had wanted it to be what i wanted to say in the, that particular tweet was um when you have this vision and this desire or this vision that you're just trying to carry out there's a lot of people that you're gonna meet you know there's a lot of people guys that you're gonna cross paths with that will 
not be happy for you or people are very jealous people are very malicious there's a lot of people that you're going to cross paths with who are not in alignment with you and <sighs> you have this vision in your heart and this desire that you want to carry out you know like that that thing that you cannot compromise for any reason it's like this or nothing i feel like you're gonna come across a lot of people who are gonna talk you out of it you are gonna come across a lot of people who will feed your faith or feed your doubt that's it and i just came to this realization that a lot of people don't have the insight that you have you know a lot of people will never understand why something means so much to you because they don't have the insight and i say this because when you make the sacrifices or when you choose to focus on yourself other than a lot of people they'll make you feel crazy for it and a lot of people love projecting that's one thing i want to say guys people love projecting and i think it's very much important for you to be able to shut people out you know there's certain journeys in life that i feel like you need to walk by yourself you are working towards something and you don't have anything along those lines that is affirming or like that big step that makes you that allows you to keep pushing you understand like maybe sometimes you even reach that phase like probably 10 years later of pushing it happens it happens where you just really move on and there's really nothing that is like affirming you if you're on the right path and you don't know if should i keep going should i leave there's no form of reward that you can hand you have people in your life who are speaking out of it more like this really you have nothing to show in this journey you know they're gonna keep talking and talking and talking and you end up getting confused Good. is this for me or should i leave it you know and i really want to tell you guys is that when it gets hard or when you continuously experience all these things you just stay closer to your breakthrough a lot of people just see the potential that you possess and they would obviously speak you out of it because they just want you to be on the same level as them i feel like it's so much rare now to actually come across people who would actually push you like people who would genuinely pray for you and people who just are so pure it's just rare and I think that's why I don't like putting myself out like that because it's just like, I don't want this energy. No. Is dealing with self-doubt. You know, like I'm a person who doubts. Like, I don't want to lie, guys. I just really found it hard to actually deal with my doubts. And I feel like if you were watching my vlogs from last year, there was a time like closer to the end of 2021 where I kept on saying like, my anxiety is peaking. I can't, I can't do anything. I'm struggling to sleep. All of, all of it, like all of it. I was just going, you know, like, my anxiety was reaching last number level where i'm like yeah i don't know what to do i really also struggle with doubt and i just really feel like those around me would actually see it because i'd have friends who would always ask me like but why are you making other people's stories yours or why do you doubt yourself dude and 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 these chats would come randomly like randomly where it's just like okay sharp since we're chilling here let's talk why do you doubt yourself honest i really feel like i'm not a person who makes it obvious that i have some doubt but i i think like when you spend a lot of time with me you just get to realize that but it's just something that i decided that you know what i can no longer be this person because it's not in alignment with the woman that i'm trying to be or my destiny or my purpose or all these great things that i'm about to accomplish in life are not in alignment with me being this particular person i think that is the reason why i actually started enforcing like praying more because I really realized each and every single time I pray, bruh, like, I just feel at peace. You know, like, even when I'm struggling to sleep, guys, I would have the most peaceful sleep ever. Like, when I go through fasting and all of that, like, I would have the most peaceful sleep ever. You know, sometimes you need to be honest with yourself. Do you trust God or don't? You, or you don't? Because I really feel like the self-doubt and the anxiety always happens because you worry too much about the future. And it's like, if I'm worrying, then obviously I'm not trusting God. You know, and this is an honest conversation that I'm having with you guys because this is an intimate chat and I'm going to be honest. Because if you do, then you know that everything is in God's hands. Like he has it sorted out. It's just a matter of time. It's like you really want this thing so badly. And I, I came to this realization that sometimes I've had moments where like I've come compartmentalized God. So pronouncing that word is kind of like a struggle. I don't want to lie. Once we have like I've compartmentalized God quite a lot. And it's just like I have these plans for myself and I really want to attain this. 
you know like i said like i'm really teaching myself to trust the process and be patient because i struggle with that like when i have something in mind i want to accomplish it now but above all i'm really teaching myself to live more in the moment because moments are so precious man you know the moments those little nyana moments are so precious man just really live in the moment be present because this day that you have this day today is the only day that you will have where you are this age slow down a bit and just really enjoy your age <laughs> live man be your age for once that's all i'm teaching myself because you do it like there's no rush in life you know because life is long and yes it is short for some people unfortunately but it's long and above all dude it's like i have this worry about the future and speaking of that man i'm just really teaching myself what to do you actually overworking yourself trying to attain the goal and what if what if this goal or this woman that you're trying not even the goal this woman that you're actually trying to be that you overworking yourself so much to be is gonna be the woman that you're supposed to be when you're 40. i'm teaching myself that all these things that i'm worrying about don't like they don't matter because eventually they're gonna come to life like everything is already alive in the spiritual realm it's just a matter of fact of time before it actually showcases in the real world physical world that we're living in and it's just like bro why am i even overworking myself if chances are and i'm not saying chances are but i'm just saying hypothetically the woman that i'm trying to be could be the woman that i should be when i'm 40 for example and it's like now i just turned 23 and i'm overworking myself what i'm overworking myself not that i'm working towards it but it's like i'm overworking myself because i want to accomplish everything now that's what i'm saying i really don't want to pass on and now it's like okay sharp reflect now on your life and it's like all i ever did was overwork myself for something that could not possibly be because when you're obviously passed on it's like now you can't accomplish it in this physical world and it's just like brah Nah. nah 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 i'm having this worry about not that i'm saying don't work hard but it's just like you're worrying about things that will happen they will happen it might not be today it might not be either way they'll happen it's just a matter of time and it's like i'm worrying about that nah chill you know like i'm teaching myself that it, relax dude relax you're young think above all that's why i'm saying that in life you just need to be able to tell yourself do i trust god or don't i trust god because when you do then you have the sense of belief that god it might not be now but i know that it is done but when you worry you're always gonna be in a mode of complaining and crying and whining and i don't want that for myself <laughs> no like seriously i don't because these past few years i've been that person and now that's where like i actually took the time to do something about it and i'm just like i don't want this for myself anymore this is not me i'm really teaching myself man that worrying about things doesn't change them and it does not change your circumstances above all just really pray about things because prayer is just a weapon of life you know like prayer is just the fundamental of everything and i think that is why like i really wanted to build like an intimate relationship with god to get myself to where i am now to see things from a different perspective you know and to not only limit myself to just that by what i only see in the physical world because things are the way they are now it doesn't mean that they are gonna be like that forever you know like things are gonna change and it's like how you actually see it and that is why i'm saying like believing is so important like just working on your belief and feeding your faith rather than your doubt is so important just really working and how you, you 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 perceive things is very important like always change your perspective the way you see things through these lenses called your eyes is the way life is gonna be the way you see things in your mind the way you perceive them is how your life is gonna be and i just really feel like once you start entertaining certain thoughts they become your, your reality i've also became this person guys who just hates i hate it I just don't like talking about my situations when I'm going through them, especially difficult situations. I need time. I need time for myself. I need time to process things. I need to sleep. That's me. But I'm that way because I don't like entertaining thoughts, those kind of thoughts where like I'm just going through difficulty and hardship and I must continuously entertain the thought. Nah. I feel like once you entertain those those guys they really become your reality i feel like for me when i start telling the story to people like in that moment where people ask me like what's wrong and i tell them no man i'm crazy and it's just like i'm not saying talking to people is bad i'm speaking about myself but it's like the more i actually talk about it is what makes me feel worse 
you know like I'll, I'll talk about it after when it's done but when I'm still going through it I don't want to talk like leave me alone give me time to actually process things and sleep and just really put my mind in the right like state when I actually speak to people about certain things in the midst of me going through them it's because it's like a form of rehearsal like you're rehearsing it and chances are you're going to experience the same thing in the near future literally I'm this person guys when I actually don't want to speak about things and when I'm ready to talk I'll actually tell you based off like a different perception to say okay sharp this is what happened but I changed the story after I'm done I say maybe God was teaching me A B C D E F G you know and it's like I I'm start I start seeing like the blessings in disguise in those particular situations maybe if things don't happen the way that I wanted them to it hurts it hurts I don't want to lie it hurts like I'm a person who always wants to know why and I'll spend time with myself after sleeping things off when I wake up I'd always journal and just try to make myself understand why that why didn't this work out why didn't it and I feel like it's that moment that makes me realize that dude that thing that you wanted so badly was gonna cost you a lot it was gonna be your downfall but I just really feel like I just really just hate feeding certain things and entertaining certain things because the people that you start entertaining when they speak down on you or whatever it is you know like how people speak about gossip and you just always laughing at other people's downfall because usually gossip consists of that and i hate it i, I hate gossiping guys like i can't even chill around people who actually gossip all the time and it's just like out of all things in this world that you could choose you're just choosing to be that person like is that what you actually deciding to give your time to no well, um so above all i just really hate entertaining these thoughts or doubts that i have or anything that will make me feel less of myself than yeah anything that will make me feel less of myself be it people be it thoughts be it where my mind is at in that current situation because you do have those moments where you just want to quit and you're just like i'm tired i'm done you know or those moments where it's just like but why you I just always try by all means guys to have a self-talk with myself like dedicate some hours in the day where I have some self-talk and I talk back why not me um you know and life is very challenging and life is very hard but above all as you navigate it and as you grow you get yourself less available for things that do not align with your current self and your future self I think that's one thing that I've realized that if it does not align with where I'm going because there's a lot of things that will cost you in life guys and I feel like it takes a certain time and a certain situation and certain circumstances for you to realize that too always be hopeful because I know I used to be that person who always used to be hopeful more like ish man things will change at the latest nah they're not they're not gonna change take things as what you see them as they're not gonna change people uh, uh, take what you see as what you see and leave it at that you're gonna save yourself a lot and you're gonna thank yourself a lot because I snapella shit. I snapella you. Above each and every single thing that I've learned, and I know I just spoke about three things, but one thing that I have learned above every single thing is to always seek confirmation from God. That is the biggest lesson that I have learned this year. Listen guys, spending time with God has just truly opened my eyes to a lot of things because I went through so many things this year that I have never went through in my life. Just teaching myself that, you know, I'd like, like I said guys, God is a God of patience and God is a God of process. Everything that God wants you to have and everything worth having that comes from God, God will give you time and grant you confirmation about it okay and that's what matters but what i'm really trying to say in this present moment is that um when i turn 23 which is why i'm saying like um I, that's when like when the new age hit i just felt like okay now i'm really stepping into like the woman that god wants me to be like yeah now now i can feel it <laughs> and i feel like it was that moment where i just started realizing how different life gets or start realizing the things that growth comes with there's certain times guys in your life where you're just gonna be so vulnerable and vulnerable in a sense that you just don't know what to do sometimes you know or sometimes it's just these things that you desire so much and you could literally be praying about them and you can get what you're praying for but doesn't mean that it's from God you know this now what I'm really trying to say is guys the more you grow a lot of things are gonna throw themselves at you but people be it people people number one people be it opportunities be it whatever it is deals whatever whatever 
things are just going to start throwing themselves at you. But in that moment of vulnerability, that moment of growth, or that moment of waiting for an answered prayer, a lot of things are going to throw themselves at you. And it was this moment where I came to this realization that there's a massive difference between good things and godly things. I, I had a chat with one of my friends about this, and he was just like, what do you mean? Aren't good things godly things? And I said, some. <laughs> not all you know and for me that was the hardest pull to swallow being able to differentiate between the two even in the bible in the book of proverbs i think it's proverbs 14 verse 12 it speaks about what may seem good to men may lead to their destruction get into prayer guys like i cannot emphasize the importance of prayer pray about things and don't be so quick to say god thank you for this firstly confirm that it is from him then say thank you I mean, I'm not saying don't express gratitude, but it's like sometimes you're actually expressing gratitude for things that God is not even blessing you with. You know, like I'm saying, I'm saying this again, there's really no rush in this life because life is long. And unfortunately, it happens that other people lose their lives earlier, but we're still here. Life is long and I'm not saying take your time when it comes to your goals and drag your feet and be lazy and lousy and all of that. I'm not saying that, but what I'm really trying to say is that as you go, grow spiritually as well because there's a lot of things that are happening in this world a lot there's a lot of battles that you need to fight that you're not even aware of and there's only one person who can fight those battles for you which is the creator they like pray about things and it's because the reason why i'm saying is a lot of things may offer themselves to you and it's like once you make that decision you're gonna have to live with it for the rest of your life and that goes back to what i was saying that a lot of people will make you succumb to pressure you know just block out the noise in your life because a lot of people have a lot to say and they're really going to make decisions on your life and sometimes other people might throw their goals that they couldn't accomplish for whatever reason onto you that you need to carry on and you have no desire to do that more like i'm not that person it happens especially in black families and that's why i'm saying like when you don't have that kind of pressure guys you really need to count your blessings like 10 times because yeah because chances are when you make that decision of saying yes in that moment you're going to have to live with that for the rest of your life and no one's ever going to deal with the outcome of what they wanted you to do more than yourself you're going to have to deal with it and where will they be understand that the certain things guys that people will put you into that no one will help you with but you and the same thing goes when you are trying to acquire maybe a home loan car loan like just take time before you actually rush into signing and read guys read i know those contracts are like thick and it's just like fine print when you sign don't be quick to signing things guys like understand what it is that you're getting yourself into understand the obligation understand like ask questions when you don't even when it comes to people that you allow in your spaces the people that you want to get into a relationship with be it romantic partners, friendships, whatever. Pray about things, guys. Seek confirmation from God with everything that you do. Each and every single journey that you're about to embark on, whatever it is that you do, only seek confirmation from God because I promise you, God will never fail you. Like, ask God, what are we saying? God, what are we saying? God, what do you say about this? What do you think I should do, God? And honestly, like, when you ask God to show you who people are, by the time you say, God, show me, before you say, before you even complete your sentence he's already rolling up his sleeves and he says sharp by the time you reach amen it's done by the time you open your eyes you're gonna see you're gonna see exactly what you've been praying for and that is the reason why it might hurt in the process but it's just like bruh that is why i'm also saying treat things the way you want to see, like treat things the way you see them as especially when it comes to people because people can be so pretentious and i'm not saying it's really bad but like sometimes teach yourself to slow down guys no matter how much you want to rush into things slow down slow down like be patient i feel like above everything i'm really seeing the importance of patience don't succumb to external pressure don't succumb to internal pressure because sometimes you can be the weapon that makes you not prosper when i really saw monero's story as well i was like yeah man if you've ever reached that situation like don't beat yourself up about it i feel like a lot of situations in life you just learn from them you know uh, a lot of situations allow you to grow through it where you just realize what it is that you no longer want for yourself and certain things that you're no longer willing to compromise maybe that you had compromised before 
So I feel like a lot of things in life that we encounter allow us to grow uh, in different aspects of our lives. So don't beat yourself up about it. I feel like lessons really do result in a lot of growth and you know better now and you can do better. So just have those reaffirming chats with yourself. So anything, I could literally lie about everything and I don't like lying, but if anything, this is one thing that I'm actually like being honest about. God is a God of confirmation and God will grant you confirmation because God is not the author of confusion. God doesn't like us confused. God will grant you clarity and that is why I'm saying like even the Holy Spirit, the Holy Spirit is there to help you navigate your journey. The Holy Spirit will be activated. The Holy Spirit will actually help you to walk in alignment. The Holy Spirit will grant you clarity when you're confused. Okay, cool. So another thing that I have actually learned is to quit complaining. Like, I don't want to lie. I have learned to guard myself against complaint. It's not cute it's it's not good sometimes you're just really complaining in the midst of a blessing and things don't go well it really takes a lot from me like i would literally cry and it's just like if things were to go good like maybe i receive good news in a day and bad news i just really feel like the bad news would take over so much that i'd end up crying and forget good to do something good came out of this day as well like working is uncomfortable working towards your goals then Growth in fact is uncomfortable. So, but what I'm really trying to say, man, because of that, I just truly feel like we find ourselves complaining a lot. And we end up missing the things that we pray for. When they come to pass, we don't even recognize it because we're so busy, yada, 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 yada. Basing your happiness of an outcome is one thing that you should never do because chances are when you receive that you're still going to say i will be happy when i get and then you'll get it and you'll say oh you understand what i'm saying like just truly live in the moment and be happy now but above everything man let yourself be your own source of happiness let me get back to what i was saying and i just really feel like once you get comfortable complaining about things you just never see the good in anything even moving for i'm not going to complain about anything anything i'm done and i've also told myself that usually when i'm unsatisfied about things i'll always be so quick to complain to people and be like oh i'm not happy about you know like com you know like talk to people but i'm not saying talking to people is bad but sometimes i'm just saying that what you are talking about may land on the wrong ears dude certain things won't change you know whether you complain about something certain things won't change you complain about your workload it has to be done in the end of the day it's not going to change anything it's just the same thing as worrying what's that going to do nothing i've made a note on my phone where i said that um the enemy never fights what he doesn't know so keep quiet and move forward and guard yourself against complaint everything that you love or everything that you desire or everything that you want or everything that you need comes with something that you don't something that you don't love even in the bible context i'm gonna take it back for every jacob there's a leah and a rachel every rachel comes with the leah basically everything that you want and desire comes with what you don't it comes with the sacrifices it comes with the late night it comes with the hard work the workload it comes with the stress it comes with commitment it comes with i don't know finance financial constraint it just comes with a lot you understand and it's like you really want this but you also need to accept with what it comes with you need to accept things that you are praying for with what they come with so all i'm really trying to say is that let this year not even this year bro in fact just let this day be the last day that you complain if you have and in everything about it i just really feel like rather than doing that just really put your mindset in a form of like gratification to say god you know what thank you to always express gratitude for all that you have and all that you're yet to have i feel like always being in a mindset of expressing gratitude and having this posture of receiving or being like open-minded to receiving is life-changing it's life-changing i promise you like it really sets the tone with how you tackle your day and how you go about your month or how you go about life i promise you it's just a life-changing thing that i cannot put into words the last thing that i actually want to touch on because i can see that the lighting is about to get shaky is actually failure i feel like failure and rejection in fact i just really I, I feel like someone actually said like failure and rejection is like an inception to new possibilities it truly goes back to how you see things and that's why i'm only saying guys it is important to put yourself in the right space at the right time and have the right perception with how you view things a lot of things that i feel like god has protected me from that i've been praying for and just never happened the way that i wanted to you know it's just like 
you're so hopeful holding on to this and you're just like okay yeah things are working things are coming together things are about to take off and god says no um at the last moment it feels like weird. it feels like you're taking 10 steps forward and 15 steps back it hurts guys i think one thing about me like i said i'm such a why person like i want to know why things never happen i feel like the book that i was actually reading which is the obstacle is the way by ryan holiday by the way i'm actually slowly starting to get so obsessed with self-help books also please recommend goodreads guys like books that you have read and you like yeah i needed this but the note that i actually quoted from this book that i was reading it says that failure and action are two sides of the same coin failure is a source of breakthrough it's just precise instructions on how to improve it's feedback and we learn lessons the hard way if we are deaf so listen just basically pay attention to like what it is that you did wrong and above all i said that failure shows us the way by showing us what isn't the way and just really going through things again and doing it over again just sucks and just also feeling like you know what i was so close and moving back and you're just like oh, i have to start again like sometimes 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 guys that failure that happens in jungle like people would always have this mindset but i, I quit i give up you giving up you could be a step closer to your breakthrough i feel like even when that failure happens dude if like you actually press on you'd see how close you are to your breakthrough every single time i'm just like ah i'm done you know like i'm giving up then i ask myself what then and certain things are inevitable such as failure you gotta experience it you gotta experience rejection as part of growing it's part of the process part of the journey you gotta experience it one way or another whether you like it or not we all hate it we all have experienced it we all have experienced it and it's just there's nothing that you can do about it Think above everything man i'm really teaching myself to be much more lenient on myself i feel like life as a whole is just so hard on us parents hard on us go on gay go on gay go on gay go on gay all i have is myself and i need to shower myself with love you know when i work towards something i need to start celebrating my accomplishments because i never used to be that person to celebrate slow down pat yourself in the back and celebrate you know like i think as much as i make it like such a mandatory thing to work hard towards my accomplishment i should really make it mandatory for me to slow down and celebrate it's only fair because i mean i'm teaching myself to give myself much more grace because in the end man is all that i have and i'm also really seeing the importance of like exercising drinking water staying hydrated sleep when i am tired you know call it a day give myself breaks binge on series feel my emotions all of it like i'm really teaching myself to make myself a priority to pamper myself to love myself and make sure that my cup is full before i show up for other people because just really feel like sometimes you'll come across people to manipulate you and make you feel guilty for doing so and because it's just like people just tend to be so entitled you know of your time you know like when you decide to choose yourself to them it's not worthy and for me it's like that's weird behavior because <laughs> these times we're living in are such crazy times guys like make sure that your mental health is okay okay so what i truly wanted to say is that someone's urgency is not your emergency and what i'm really trying to say is prioritize get your life in check <laughs> choose yourself always work towards yourself and always contribute towards your self-development work hard work hard and work hard yeah i think this is why i prioritize self-awareness so much like I, I feel like spending time with myself and journaling is such a priority for me because it really helps me to recognize certain things about myself i feel like i'm a person when i grow i need to also get to know myself on that level and in order for me to actually um attract things at an upgraded level i need to know myself at that level i hope that you guys enjoyed this video please don't forget to comment like and subscribe and also comment like the things that you have learned throughout this year like hard pills to swallow or things that you were not expecting that just smacked you and you're just like yeah i was not ready for that thank you so much for watching my video and i will see you guys the next time bye